You effed me, protein. Thought we were friends. You're supposed to prevent my vegan body from becoming scrawny and useless. And you try, but you have side effects and you suck. I feel like I finally found my base diet where nothing goes wrong. I just get healthier and healthier eating one fruit meal followed by one starch meal several hours later. A whole food starch, either wild rice or quinoa, mixing the different colors of quinoa out there, totally local. Eat that with cooked and raw veggies. Fun times, we're right there. Well, I started experimenting a bit with beans. You would think that would be the ultimate complement, rice and beans type of thing. More protein, more longevity. All this science says beans. You live longer if you eat them. You'll fart on your friends, but you'll outlive them. So what I did was I bought a can of organic beans, rinsed them off very well, and then pressure cooked one tablespoon in my otherwise rice and veggie meal and they were supposed to be friends, I felt a tiny bit more fatigued. It was a bit of digestion not working together, and I just kind of ignored it for a while. I'm just trying to build up the microbiome to digest beans, everything's good, and I did go really slow. And then I started increasing it, and let me just tell you, for about three weeks straight, maybe two, just cut that right off, I felt like a superhuman eating my very bland diet of fruit and starch. And then I add the beans in and all of a sudden I'm depressed, I'm tired, I hate life. And I'm like, how the hell did such a swing happen? So I start testing my blood sugar. Protein, you wouldn't believe what you do. You're terrible. So protein Fs your blood sugar the same if not worse than fat. I don't know how you do it, if you're just so slow digesting and it's this rise, a continual protein rise of blood sugar. I tell you, like I never have blood sugar issues with my melon in the morning. It's always within two hours, I'm back down to like 4.8, we're good to go. After my giant one cup of beans meal dinner with my rice and veggies, wild rice. It was 5.8 and I was exhausted. And I'm like, what the hell is happening? I removed beans. I am now superhuman again. I'm not allergic to you. It's just something about the protein. Maybe it's one amino acid is too high. I've tried kidney beans and black lentils. You're both bad news. There's a couple other potential reasons I was so tired. One, I raised protein and therefore lowered carbs a bit just because I'm having more high percentage protein foods. So I could have just been under eating on calories and I was losing weight. So that's definitely a potential theory. And I was like slowly lowering the calories a bit instead of like two cups of raw quinoa then cooked. It was like a cup and a half. And I was like, I don't know, maybe I'm just too low on calories. And it's like, it makes sense for weight loss up your protein, you keep your muscle, and then you'll drop the fat. And yeah, but if it's at the expense of being exhausted and depressed and you hate life, it's almost worth it, but it's not worth it. I keep trying to find tiny slivers of light that hit my head. It's so cinematic right now. So it's either protein by itself, you eat too much of it, it Fs your blood sugar, and that's why I'm having all these swings in mood and my energy is crap. Or I was just under eating due to adding hard to digest beans and it's Fing my whole dinner. I don't know which it is, but all I know is removing beans, I'm back to normal now. And it's nice to have a base diet where you just, you know you're comfortable just eating normal foods. You can always return there and then you do little side experiments. But like right now, there's nothing I want to experiment with. I'm just gonna live here in this region where it's like fruit and starch. And there's a slight chance that the very minorest amount of fruit increase that I did, because I was having like an apple before the dinner, it could be that like just, oh, too much fruit, man, you're detoxing. Oh my God, he's a breatharian. It could be something like that. 
that my filthy body was thus cleansed by apples. But I truly feel like this is, we're getting towards the pinnacle here. Just two meals a day, it just, it makes so much sense on paper for most of the year in most of the climates. Some people can make it work. You just, you have your fruit meal, then you go do a bunch of stuff, at least for my schedule, which is very relaxed, I must admit. If you had like a nine to five job, you would have to devise a different schedule, most likely. You're two meals, you're maybe three, I don't know. Like you, the timing of it has to obviously work for your lifestyle, it's very different. But like, I was eating fruit all day as a window cleaner. I've done that and then come home for whatever the hell I ate, I don't even remember. All I can say is keep fighting for your health and keep striving towards it. Maybe you're already there and it's, you don't have to worry about things, but I just, I notice that I eat the wrong thing, something bad happens, likely my gut. I do feel like once you heal the gut, you shouldn't have these problems, but it could just be too much protein damages the blood sugar, no matter how strong your gut is. So I don't know, man, we're, we're getting somewhere quick, but like that bean, that was a detour and it did not end well. It was just, I learned. So like you have to change your mind a negative thing happened to you, but it's good in some way. You're learning something and then turn it around in your favor. Don't step on anything sharp, but like we're learning something. And I learned and I took the negative and now it's teenage baby boy skin coming anytime. So like that's good times. I had a couple zits from the whole bean fiasco. Just the fatigue was the worst part though. I'm like, why do I not want to do anything anymore? What the hell happened? I was flying high for three weeks straight, if not two. So like we're back on that now and I do believe I figured it out. So that's worth a thumb up. I'd be thumbing it up right now. I think he learned a lot just as much as I did. You could of course thumb it down if right now you're making a sauce for your rice and it contains dandelion leaves, eggshells. You don't need a third thing. You just throw it out. It's going to be sharp, bitter. You do not get the calcium you think you need. You only get salmonella acids. I stepped on cotton. I must apologize to all. You knew where I was headed with that. It's not racist. I'm going to leave on a high note. Protein. Watch it. You think beans are healthy, are they? I don't care what study says this. Oh, everyone lives so long. Beans are the healthiest food. Everyone agrees. Then you eat it and you feel worse? No, thank you. To your science. The only science that matters is your body. Yeah. Listen to it sometime. It has the answers. It always did. You are the guru. I'm your guru for now. Strengthen and you will walk one day, like I am walking, to find slivers of light. Grounded, of course. Bitcoin sometimes, huh? No? Subscribe for me, I said.